Hi Cancer, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign, remember they're general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody, that is just fine, use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity and abundance, and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, they help you on your path to your highest vibrational goal good so for your key to the week before we get into it if you are a continued subby you know Rafi loves you. if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share if you should so choose and it resonates hit the subscribe button for your action I'm sorry for your key to the week you have the strength card right so in your heart of hearts my dear Cancerians what is it that you truly desire? But more importantly, this week you're being asked to ask yourself, what is it that you truly value, right? What is it that really, you've got a jumping card there. What is it that you truly desire? Uh, and what is it that you truly value? This is the, the main question that you're being asked this week. And in all of these different areas of your life, it's going to require some level of newfound strength for you to move forward. So for your actions and options, you've got the King of Swords. So usually an ASI male, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. This might actually be somebody that gives you the challenge, right? Maybe somebody pushes you to get more out of yourself when it comes to your work, when it comes to your profession, when it comes to, oh gosh, uh, you know, all of the above. The other way that this can show up in terms of the options that are, are sort of available to you at this moment in time, this is a chance for you to demonstrate your expertise. So if you get an invite, an opportunity of some sort where someone says, look, you know, we'd like you to give a speech or we'd like you to teach a class or whatever the case might be, you're potentially given a platform this week that maybe you haven't had before and where, you know, maybe you would usually be content to let others shine or to, um, you know, maybe play a supportive role. This week, you're being asked to find the courage and find the strength to be the person that steps up and does the damn thing. All right. Love this for you. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Knight of Wands. So one way that this will show up or should I say your communications in general this week are fun, they're dynamic, they're feisty, there's a lot of flirtation in these cards, there's a lot of banter, uh, a lot of hard banter as well, which as far as I'm concerned is just how I like it. Uh, you know, I always say like on a, even in dating prospects, if you ain't got no banter, if you ain't got no chat, if you ain't got no back and forth, don't bother, right? I can't, I can't be bored. <laughs> being, being attached to me in any way, shape or form, you will never be bored so you know make sure it's it's reciprocated jokes aside the knight of wands when it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia this with the king of swords a lot of you that are studying you might find that there is a there's a need or a desire this week to break away from the traditional way of viewing a certain subject or experience you might need to fight for this and you might need to fight hard for it. There's always an element of wanting or needing to prove ourselves with the Knight of Wands and this will be no exception. For those of you that are uh, employed by somebody else, there are options available this week, but it's actually, excuse me, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, it's through you standing your ground and going against the grain, potentially even, possibly even against a superior, a boss, a supervisor, etc. It's actually through that this week that you make the real progress, having the courage to be the person that steps out of line or, you know, actually challenges the person in authority to say, no, hang on a sec, listen, in this regard, you are wrong or actually I feel like you're taking the piss, quite frankly, right? One thing about me in all of my work history... <laughs> unfortunately for my bosses, um, I was never, I didn't give a shit what your role was. I will be kind, I will be courteous, I will be respectful of the chain of command, etc. But when you are wrong, 
I will tell you so, right? This week, my dear Cancerians, it might be that it comes down to that. For those of you that are um, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, there is a really strong energy in these cards for you guys. There's something that you're pushing or driving forward in that card in a way that you do. And it might be something that is either really new or really novel for the business that you do. And you might, you know, in the back of your mind, you might be thinking like, oh, you know, I don't know if anybody's going to go for this or whatever. But it's like you've made the courage, right? You've got the you've got the conviction to go after it. The rest will fall into place, even if it's slow going, which I don't think it will be because it's the Knight of Wands. I actually think this will do a lot better than you anticipate. For those of you that are um, retired and no longer working, there's something here that you're usually used to doing by committee. You're a cancer after all, so family, you know, loved ones, etc. It's always really important to you. But something that you would usually sort of put to the floor or ask people about or kind of get, you know, oh, I want to get your opinion on this or is this the right way to go or whatever the case might be. This is you kind of saying, actually, no, right? This, this is, I'm breaking away from the way that you guys do it and I'm going to do it how I want to do it at this moment in time. So it takes a lot of courage for cancer people to stand up to their family because they love them so much, all right? For those of you that are like, why? <laughs> for your seven, um, for your love and relationship, you've got the seven of pentacles. If you are partnered, married or in a long-term commitment, this week, it's not arguments it's not hard conversations but there is a debate going on between you and a partner about the best way to proceed on something uh, and it may have a financial element to it the other thing is as well i kind of get the feeling that you are saying to your partner we've put enough time effort energy and money into this it's not paying back i want out of it right there's a, a, a sort of energy here where you're kind of saying i want to cut my losses and run um, and maybe your partner is fighting you on it. The fact that you've had the grit to kind of tell your partner straight, like, no, this is how I feel about this, I think will change the nature of everything anyway. And it might be the thing that actually creates the movement that you need. For those of you that are single and looking, this is very likely to be an air sign person. That's who I think that King of Swords is. Uh, and with this Knight of Wands, there's a lot of flirtatious banter. This will have been going on for a while. This won't be somebody that comes in that's sort of brand new. This will be somebody that you've been flirting with, somebody that you've been laughing with, having a lot of fun. But you kind of just see it as that. You're like, oh, you know, there's nothing in it. There's nothing serious. We're not going to be an item or whatever. But actually, you could cross the threshold this week. It is possible. And then finally, for your money and materials, you've got the death card. So this could be the end of a financial situation. So it doesn't have to be the loss of a job. Sometimes this can literally be the paying of a debt. Because you've got this with the strength card, though, I do wonder here if you are kind of taking it upon yourself to say, you know what? I've put enough time, effort and money into this. I'm not paying into it anymore. So this could be like, I never forget when I cancelled, like this was years ago now, uh, when I cancelled my Sky subscription. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And now I'm like, I barely have time to watch friggin' TV. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, you often, sometimes when we think we're going to miss something, we, we end up actually not. So it'd be interesting to see how this shows up for you. But yeah, it kind of feels like there's something of a financial nature that's coming to an end and it might take a little bit of grit for you to say okay you know what I, I can walk away from this when it comes to your physical health and vitality for excuse me when it comes to your physical health this is a really interesting combination whatever physical ailment that you have had um, and for a lot of you I actually think this is going to be a skin complaint um, it will now start to ease. I'm not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice. Whatever the issue is, obviously, please go and get yourself looked at. But if you've had a skin problem, challenge, issue or condition this week, I actually think that you will start to notice a marked improvement and it will just continue to improve. Uh, when it comes to those, uh, sorry, when it comes to your home and environment, this is somewhat more tricky. Um, because it it means that there's you're about to start well you're about to enter a transition point when it comes to your home 
there is going to be some sort of shift, some sort of change that starts here. Uh, and for a lot of you, this could literally spell like, okay, I'm moving, right? So we'll see. Uh, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. If you want to book your personal session with me, you can do so on the link in the description box below. Take care. I'll see you soon.